So now to do a bit of work on the scenery in the terminal station. As you can see, I need to do some back scene across behind the station buildings. I'll find a bit of uh, off cutter back screen for that. Uh, then got a bit of uh, wood down here that needs a coat of brown on it before uh, do something with it. Not sure what yet. And um, just generally a little bit of tidying up around here. Um, so there's a few finishing off bits on the station and I might then actually look at getting some uh, lights for the platforms. I think that might be quite a nice idea. Anyway, so I get on with a little bit of painting. So that's the uh, painting done. Uh, just realised I need to also look at this wall along here um, where I've raised the terminal station. So I need to create a new wall to go up the side of the wood and join onto the wall that's there already uh, and then a bit of touching up and the wall top as well where it's got scratched um, yep so that's the uh, next job so the first stage of the new walls some corrugated card cut to fit uh, protruding about a scale uh, four or five feet above the uh, higher level Neatly clips in place, so now to put some brick paper onto it. Uh, engineer's brick paper applied, and uh, just let that dry for a little bit, and then look at what sort of coping stones to put on the top. So, a strip of plastic card cut and stuck along the top to make the coping stones. All we need to do now is to paint them an appropriate colour. So, just a little update. Uh, area of grass has been laid here, static grass, and they're just sort of filling in now between the tracks with uh, earth, and uh, you probably just about see that that's sort of currently got PVA on it, and also done the back scene around the back of the station, replaced that, so uh, things are moving on, uh, working through the station area here, doing the various things needed to make it look a bit more realistic. So working on the scenery and uh, just sort of working, filling some of the areas between the tracks with sort of earth finish rather than just leaving the cork visible. So I'm going to put spread some uh, earth stuff thing powder on some of these cracks and then uh, put some glue on top. Uh, so I'll put that on time lapse because it could be a bit boring otherwise. So that's the uh, earth powder spread out. I tend to use a teaspoon to do it and just level it off. Um, good spray of uh, water with some isopropyl uh, alcohol in it just to break down the surface tension. And then watered down PVA, a uh, little about 50 50 PVA water, just a drop of washing up liquid just to break the surface tension again. Uh, spread on with a pipette. And uh, now we leave that to dry. So one of the other things to notice putting back the buildings at the end of the station is that this one which I scratch built doesn't have a back so you can sort of see the back screen through it so uh, I think I need to create a back for it and then if in the future I decide to put some lights in or something then we can do that but also you can't see the trees through the windows which looks a bit odd so I'm going to make a piece of card to go in the back. So over to the workbench, uh, I've got a piece of uh, suitable card uh, which I can use to make a, a back piece. I just need to cut it to shape. So a few measurements, a few pencil marks and then cut it out. And once again I think we'll go on to time lapse to uh, save you boredom. So that's a bit of card cut to go on the back of the building, uh, stuck in with some uh, rocket card glue, good stuff. And uh, now just let that dry and then we put it back into the building. 
Didn't bother painting the inside. I'm now wondering should I have done, but actually I think just leaving it as grey, it'll still look pretty dark, but black sometimes looks a bit artificial behind uh, fake windows. So uh, that was hopefully do for that and uh, move on to the next thing. So a bit of progress with ballasting. Uh, started with the head shunt and did half of it yesterday and that's not quite gone off because it's uh, pretty cold out here in the shed with a bit damp but hopefully as it dries out and did a bit of uh, ballasting on the main line as well and just now I have finished off the head shunt and uh, you can see the PVA glue wet on the surface um, so that's how we're getting on and uh, generally sort of sorting out a bit of the scenery tidying things up uh, and worked out that actually down here at the goods shed I'm going to actually move the goods shed from the track it was on over onto this track somewhere about there and that'll actually uh, help to fill this space and give it something to do and I can put a bit of roadway in to access the uh, the uh, entrance doors there so I think that'll look a bit better it'll give a bit more space in the middle and make it a bit easier to reach over to wagons and things so that's how we're getting on uh, things are progressing slowly we've got some new coal staves by the uh, engine lines uh, one of the suggestions was perhaps make this a little heritage area so I might look at getting a steam engine after Christmas and uh, then the cold stays will be available for that. So it's coming on slowly. So now to do a little bit more ballasting on the, I suppose you call it the up main. So I hope you enjoyed that brief update on scenery and progress and uh, since I actually filmed some of that I've actually done a bit more ballasting and uh, I'll let you see that in a week or so's time. Thank you for watching and uh, I always look forward to your comments.